Hi, it's Roxy here, and this year I spent a summer working in Glacier National Park. Over the next few videos, I'm going to share with you what it was like working in the park, what the towns around Glacier are like. We were going to travel going to the Sun Road together during all the seasons of the summer, and also go on many really amazing hikes. Some of these hikes are going to include Grinnell Glacier, Mount Oberland, um, Hidden Lake Overlook, and many others really stunning hikes. This is a beautiful park. Today's video is actually going to be dedicated to one of my biggest followers, Mary. Um, I wasn't going to do anything on the towns of Glacier, but uh, I know how she loves to see the town. And I really appreciate her support and the support of all my other followers. If you do enjoy this, this video or this series of videos, please consider giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment. Uh, even better, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, it really does help with the expenses that I incur in making these videos. So with that being said, let's get a move on. West Glacier, Apgar Village, Camas Road, and Lake McDonald Lodge are all located in the lower southwest corner of Glacier National Park. We are now entering West Glacier from the east on Highway 2. It's pretty small. As you come into West Glacier from the east along Highway 2, You'll see the historic Belt and Train Station on your right. This is also the Glacier National Park Conservancy and one of the places I worked this summer. This is still a functioning railway and Amtrak still drops off here, but um, you can't buy tickets here or anything anymore. There's the Glacier Highland Restaurant and the Belton Chalet Restaurant. To get to Glacier National Park, you turn right if you're headed from the east where it says Alberta Visitor Center, which is closed and has been purchased by Pursuit, as is this whole town here. It's all owned by Pursuit now. West Glacier Village. You have a rafting on the right. Um, a place you can get coffee and ice cream and go golfing. One bar. Huckleberry store. Camping supplies. Pretty much it. I was a frequent visitor to Frida's Bar where I found myself unwinding after work many a day and talking to all the amazing characters that came in there. Where you like going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like we all love you guys. I love you. <laughs> yeah, we love you. Right. all. Right. Right. Exactly. Enjoy Sturgis. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Lance and Teresa, for getting me through two months of rain, a month of mosquitoes, and a about a month of 95 degrees. The only other place I had to go during that heat was down by the river. I'm actually getting myself. I'm actually getting myself. Flathead River. 
which was absolutely roaring in the spring. And enter Glacier National Park. So this is the entrance station. I'm in the employee lane. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, he is going to stop in my lane. This happens way more often than you'd think. Uh, at the four way stop, left is Apgar Village. Thank you. Straight is the Apgar Visitor Center. And right is going to the Sun Road. The Apgar Visitor Center is just your typical National Park Visitor Center. So this is Apgar Village. We've got the Glacier Outfitters on the left where you can rent bear spray and other things. Apgar Village is located at the southern end of Lake McDonald, which is the largest lake in Glacier National Park. Lake McDonald is approximately 10 miles long and over a mile wide and 472 feet deep. In the evening, people will sit down by Lake McDonald with a cocktail from Eddie's Cafe with hopes of seeing the northern lights or a beautiful sunset. On this evening, there was smoke from a wildfire in the park. Just west of Apgar Village is Camas Road, and if you choose to drive up there, you can see a totally different view of Lake McDonald and the mountains beyond. We're now traveling along going to the Sun Road on the east side of Lake McDonald. One day at the end of my season, I came by to visit Lake McDonald to take some video and realized I was two days too late. However, I do have some pictures to share from Lake McDonald earlier in the season. Well, that sums up the first episode in my Glacier Park series. Please visit the description beneath this video to find more links to my photography webpage, blog and more. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment, but please be kind. Happy trails!